and welcome to my video about the closed strokes on the Tarbuka. Here I have a Dohola. It's a, like a base Tarbuka, if you would call it like this. It's a, yeah, it's slightly bigger and uh, has a very big um, plane surface, so you can do a lot of modulation of the sounds. So I want to start with the slap sound, or it's called uh, pa or sac in some places, and um, yeah, it's done like this. So you have your hand in actually the same position as you would play a doom. The only difference is that yeah, you you keep your hand on the surface of the drum after you, you have hit it. It's same, your hand is one line with the, with the surface, it's parallel. It's very important to not do like this, like this. And also the hand is slightly angled, it's the same position as you would play a doom. Because um, when you play fast, uh, you, can, you have no time to change your hand between the middle or the any other area, you know, in order to, to switch the sounds. It should be in the same area. So, you touch for this stroke <coughs> the skin with this, this part of your hand. It's not the whole hand, it's just the outer area. And not the palm, it's here. And it's more soft soft sound and you don't need a, a lot of power you can of course make a make a very loud one but it's um, more for a solo if you would play a rhythm it's more a softer motion people do it different you know this is the way I do it there's a, a lot of different techniques for this sound and also different qualities of it you know like more dampened, more explosive, more loud. But yeah, this is a soft version. Very useful for for the, the, the most of the rhythms. Yeah. yeah, this is the the slap sound. So there's a substitution for the slap, I would say. So you can also play a flick to get the same function. It's very practical to, to use this because it um, um, yeah, has different frequencies and uh, in different uh, musical situations this can be very useful. So it's done like this. You take your index finger to your thumb this area, create some tension and flick it. And then you you put it here in the middle of the, the skin and you will get a very hard sound, a lot of attack. And you can combine it with the doom sound if you play the doom with the with the tips of the finger. So it's the doom, this will be the duck. So you have very very small movements in your finger, but the big effect. So you can play the maximum, for example, with very little effort. And there's uh, more benefits, actually. So when you play uh, a rhythm, and you play a tag in the same time where you play this uh, slap, it will be closed also because your hand stops the vibration and it will go with this sound. But if you want to have both, you want to have a, a, a tuck in the right hand and an open sound in the left hand, it's possible with this technique. So this and this goes together. Yeah. This is very practical. Uh, for the solo approach, like uh, when Mr. Ahmed is playing, or Levent Yildirim is playing the, like, or you say, like self-accompanying 
with this hand they keep the maksum, the rhythm or mafuf, and the left hand they solo over it. And if if you would do it with this technique, we have conflicts in sound. Maybe you want it, you can play with it, you know, of course, but uh, if you do this, you have a possibility to play op more open strokes like this. Here there was no no dry sound in the left, all was open and high sound because I use this technique. Very practical. So the next uh, close stroke which comes to my mind is uh, this one. Or like this. So as you would see, it, it, this is a tuck, normal tuck, and you use your right hand to dampen the skin, either with the thumb or with the this side of the hand and the trick is to create a, a, a surface a new surface and with a different uh, sound quality if you make this surface smaller by lifting the hand here you get a of course higher sound so if you go lower and create a bigger surface you get a lower sound and yeah, you can move your hand while playing, of course. And you get almost melodic uh, effects, yeah, because of course you have uh, different pitches. Yes, and um, yeah, you can use both uh, sides of your hand. It depends a little on the situation. If you play the very characteristic. Uh, solo phrases like roll muted roll muted yeah it's uh, i find it more handy to to use this side and for uh, like uh, if you want to incorporate this uh, strokes into a groove i like to use my thumb So also you can uh, apply um, closed strokes while you are rolling. This is the roll I play. Yeah, the most time I use the right hand, the index and then the ring finger. You know there's a lot of different roll. Many people play like this. totally practical and possible and um, the, the thing is actually that the right hand is moving like this and this it can do also in a closed way so you move your head inside the skin and have closed sounds and you just continue your roll actually Also, the roll can have uh, different sound qualities. I'm mentioning all this because um, I have the approach of uh, sound pretty much to instruments. So it's very good if you discover an instrument and learn an instrument by studying its sounds and the quality of its sounds. This is, I mean, this is the reason why we we touch the instruments. We want to hear all the sounds which are possible. This uh, I found very fascinating, especially on this drum, because um, uh, the person who developed the most on this uh, was um, Misal Ahmed and his brother Levent Yildirim. They did both uh, incredible inventions on this drum 
in order to, to play it, you know, they, they found a lot of different uh, techniques and different sounds from a very, very, very simple uh, instrument. And uh, by listening and, yeah, creating technique, they found so many beautiful sounds and rhythms. And so I do all the, also this videos like this. I uh, make now a, a video about the closed strokes. Before you can, uh, I made a video about dum and tak, which are open strokes. So I would, uh, yeah, recommend you to to always approach the drum uh, like this. Like look at the or listen to the sounds of it. It will give you the most. So I hope you enjoyed it and you get something from this video, and hope you to see you next time.